Hello and welcome to Midnight Food Blog. I'm The Watcher. And I'm The Professor. Today we got uh, not really an unboxing. Yes, we've already opened it because we're impatient. <laughs> but we shall be doing a review of the DC Legion of Collectors April 2016 box. So, and it was fantastic. Oh, it was. So let's kick it off with the patch and the pin. You grab yes. the pin, I'll grab the patch. So we got a Supergirl patch. And we have an Atom pin from... DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Which is awesome. It's, it's great, awesome. It is a great show. The pin's really good and even nice quality. And as the patch, as always, and how much do you bet when you first saw it you saw Superman? I did for a <laughs> second, yeah. But that's Supergirl, okay. I do like the patch, so it's awesome. The pin's and really nice. Comic or shirt? What do you want? Shirt. Sure. Sure. For mine, the shirt was on top. Okay, shirt. This is a... Awesome shirt. One of the best. see if I can get it right. There you go. It is an arrow shirt. I'm sorry, but this was just phenomenal because there's not much Arrow show merchandise. So to get a T-shirt with that is just awesome. And it's just a cool design. Oh, it is. I like it. I love it, and I can't wait to wear it. All right. Next up, we have the comic, which is a really sweet comic. Yes. Game. So if you look at it, it just says the Flash and the Legion of Collectors Core exclusive. Rather basic cover, not really much to it. Yes. Then you read the number. Yes. 123. Yes, which is, of course, the rare, well, not really, is the rare occurrence where we met the Flash and Jay Garrick. Yes. The Flash Two Worlds, the original storyline. Yes. And it's actually that comic. It's nice to get a reprint from an old comic. Yes, and it's a really nice comic. Oh, yes. So, I've read of it. speaking of Jay Garrick, yes. the man himself. But we're not going to spoiler the show here, because we could. But yeah, there's a quick little pop look at him. It's he is fantastic. And the box. When I was when I first oh. saw it, I was very worried that the hat was going to be rather not good quality. But everything is excellent. Even the wings, which should be flimsier, nice quality. And bravo, Funko. This is an awesome box. And if you watch the TV show, you'll know about this character yes. a little bit better. But we're not going to spoiler it in here. And one thing I do say is his pop was painted very well. I got the same box, and mine had a lot of paint smudging around the eye. Which is not fun. Yes. One thing I can tell you though is I do like that they didn't call it the Flash. Yes. Even though you can call this the Pop Flash, but to differentiate it from the main Flash. Yes. It's good that they called it Jay Garrick. Yes. But we of course know stuff about the show, but we're not talking about that. All right, and we have one more item. Which is this. Uh, this is part of the new, are you? Uh, this is part of the new Rock Candy series. So, a little weird. It's an odd little item. It's something we, well, when I first thought, when you first grabbed in the box, you thought, oh, we got another pop. Yes. And then you grab it out, you're like, oh, what is this? Oh, okay, rock candy. I've never heard of this. It's kind of a shocking little thing, but one thing I can tell you is the costume. Yes. It's very textured. Um, it's very textured, and I love the pose because that was like the first promotional image we yes. saw of the character Supergirl. And it's fantastic. And to me, to get a brand new item, and the paint on this is just awesome. And the only way to get the this Supergirl from the TV show was from this box. And there is a comic Supergirl, just yes. saying, in the regular So line. if you wanted the comic Supergirl, that's fine. There's also going to be coming out with uh, Wonder Woman, classic Batgirl, which is in her gray outfit, a modern Batgirl, black outfit, a Harley Quinn, comic Supergirl, and a classic Wonder Woman, not from the movie. So would you get any more rock candy? I would. Uh, I think they're kind of cool. They're just yes. a unique collectible that you don't. They go well. See. They go nice together with some of the pops. It's funny you actually think that, but so overall, let's just move this wonderful box out of the way. So what do you give us these ice awesome items? What do you give them? I give it a nine point five out of ten. I am really. I give bravo to you, Funko. You did an amazing yes. job, and I'm really happy to add these this to my collection. This is the second great best box I have ever gotten. Yes, I think it was second to the loot crate that we got in, I think October. Yes, the time one. That one was just phenomenal. And this pop might become my all-time favorite. Yes. Uh, so we can say that we are not getting the Suicide Squad box. Um, I'm not a big fan of Suicide Squad. We're, I, I'm very nervous about getting either A, another Will Smith dead, pop, basically dead, dead shot, shot pop, dead shot, or a two pack of Harley and the Joker, Joker which we already have coming from the FYE which exclusive. We'll do, you know, and I think it's just because we don't like the design of most of the characters yes. from 
We don't. I think Suicide Squad is going to be a good movie, but I just don't think they're. I don't designed. like much of the products. Their design doesn't translate too well to, let's say, plastic, vinyl, and all yes. that. It just doesn't translate. Uh, but uh, we will surely be back again eventually with another DC yes. Legion of Collectors. I'm the Professor. I'm the Watcher. I'll see you in the next one. Signing off. Have a fantastic day. Bye.